went out about something about unique mailboxes. And um, it was full of IT acronyms, and it not only sort of totally confused those few brave customers that were brave enough to try and decipher it, it also caused mass confusion in the department, so we weren't in any better a position to try and tell the customer what was going on. But I think, moreover, the, co the corporate, if you like, the person who sent it out, just couldn't see what the problem was. Just what's wrong with it? It's fine. It wasn't. And then, manna from heaven, our new director said, let there be an information and communications coordinator. I thought, hurrah! And I said, even bigger hurrah, because it sat in my team. So when this role was originally defined, its purpose was quite simple. Um, and that was to ensure that IT services customers and staff are provided with an excellent source of IT information. That was it. Over the last seven years, that role has actually grown hugely. And so now it's, it's sort of defined as to be the departmental information professional and to drive forward, develop and manage the provision of IT related uh, information thereby ensuring that we still do the things we'd originally set out to do, but we also market and promote IT services and what we can do to our existing and our future staff and students. This role's now got three areas of focus. Uh, the first one is that of information provision. It's fairly straightforward. We do it in a variety of ways. The second bit is uh, web development, so both for our customers but also for our own technical staff. So when Sue first um, came into IT services, we had a series of web pages, but there wasn't any consistent feel. There was certainly no brand. Uh, it was done on a best endeavours basis, uh, and the information was very often out of date because people just didn't have the time to update it. 